now I've got a couple questions from Luna Moth. Oh, I love that name. So cool. And I'm going to, I haven't had time to listen to the videos that you're talking about. Um, but the question is, I'm a little confused. In one of your other videos, the Pub Friends video, you said that if someone is a bad person to you, they will likely be a negative part of your life until you die. In this video, you're, you're saying that they are an indicator of which timeline you're in. Can you go over this a little bit more? You know, I don't really... Uh, know what what I was saying whenever the pup friends video whenever I said if someone's a bad person to you they will likely be a negative part in your life until you die I don't remember saying that so uh, I may have to watch that video and then come back to that part but what I have said is that when you've come here for many reasons everybody has very a lot of reasons it's not just one reason but since you came here to this dualistic, just about everybody will have kind of a plan of things that they would like to experience. Going from being a god to someone in amnesia not realizing you're a god, there are advantages to that limitation and things that you will probably want to experience. In order to make that happen, uh, frequently you will need an, an enemy or a counterpoint or somebody that you're going to struggle against in order to, let's say, in my case, uh, I definitely came to be the good guy, the knight in shining armor, the paladin. So I needed bad guys to go up against, to win against. Now I understand all of that now, but at the time I didn't understand that. So I just thought that they were horrible people. Well, then I died went to the other side, outside of time space, and talked to these people, these beings, outside of this game, and remembered uh, a lot of what I had set up before I came here. So, and basically what I said is, okay, I want to have this experience, but in order to have this experience, I need somebody to volunteer to be this person, to do this thing, this bad thing. And because it is harder to lower our vibration from being a god to the lower vibrations, it's a challenge. So very often, if there's someone who has really put something in your life that you have really struggled with, or perhaps you have been able to overcome that has really taught you a lot or given you a very, very um, intense experience, Frequently, that individual is probably a very good friend of yours. And I just wanted to let people know that, that frequently um, somebody who perhaps you think is a very, very big enemy, um, nothing can be done against anyone's uh, will anywhere. So if a really bad thing has happened to you and caused you to struggle, um, you organized all of that before you came here. So... Um, you would have asked people for uh, their assistance in that regard. So when I went over there and realized that, of course, there was no forgiveness required when I came back because uh, they had asked, to, they had done what I'd asked them to do. And I was very grateful for their volunteering to play the roles that they had played. Remember, this is a dualistic game. In order to have the good, we must have the bad. We, in order to have the light, there must be the dark. That is how this whole game is set up. So we have to, we all are one and we all are gods. So people had to come and volunteer to be the bad guys here. So that's what I was trying to say, I believe. And on the other video, if you are on a timeline where at this point, and you're listening to me, uh, when you have someone that's giving you a hard time, that you're struggling with, that is making you angry, afraid, upset in whatever way, it will, it, it, it will let you know if they're able to do that to you, then that will let you know, know where you are on the timelines. So if somebody's making you afraid, then that mirrors to you that you are still in timelines 
where you are vibrating uh, at a lower level that you can access fear. If you are getting angry at someone, then that is a mirror to you to let you know that you are still uh, capable of accessing anger. As you raise your vibrations, then this is what happens. Somebody comes into your life and perhaps they've got a history with you and um, they just know how to push your buttons and it just makes you mad. They've really, they really can make you mad easily. When that happens now, what, what I do is I use that and I say, okay, I'm interacting with them and I'll take X number two for that. Who, yeah, as most of you know, I've had an extensive history with. If I'm interacting with him and I flash and get angry, I immediately catch myself and say, oh, wrong timeline. I don't want to respond to him like that anymore because I can see that I am playing a role. He's playing a role. All of it was agreed on. I am raising my vibrations to the fifth dimension, at which point anger and fear are not accessible. If I'm still accessing um, anger and fear, then I am not where I want to be. That's all. That's what it means for me. So I will immediately center, try to find out why I was triggered in such a way, and correct that feeling in myself. That's what I am doing. By those timelines being able to be identified with my reaction to the people around me. Because I am the one that control my timelines. Only I can. Nobody does that for me. Nobody can move me in timelines but me. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at my response to the events that are happening around me to see if I am vibrating and responding on a higher level so that I'm moving, I'm raising my frequency heading towards the fifth dimension. Okay, does that make sense? Hopefully. <laughs> Oh dear, I may have to listen to these two videos and see. I don't normally read questions and then answer them like that. So if I don't like this, I may just delete it. You may never see it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Is that all the questions you had? Luna Moth. Okay, and then this was also Luna Moth. Is this just about going home to 5D or can we actually go home? No, <clears throat> this is definitely while in body, you might choose to go ahead and stick with Gaia as she makes that transition and increases frequently frequency to go to the fifth dimension. She will stay in the fifth dimension. You do not have to. Absolutely, you do not have to. And you certainly aren't from this creation. So, you can you can stick with her until she gets to the fifth dimension. Then you can raise your frequency, what I say, about halfway into the fifth dimension. At which point, you can step outside of time space and leave this creation altogether and go back to doing what you were doing before you came to assist Gaia in this transition. Okay? You can also go home when you die. Uh, you may came just for this, come for this lifetime, and then whenever you die as a star seed, you may have finished your job, at which point you just leave and you don't come back to this creation. Okay? So, yes, this is not um, the star seeds that are assisting Gaia to get to the fifth dimension. Fifth dimension is not their home, none of them. None of us are from this creation. Uh, the, we would not consider this home at all. The fifth dimension that Gaia is going to be parking at for a while is a beautiful rendition of Gaia in the higher vibrations. So um, you might want to stick around and just hang out and experience it a little bit. But you certainly, it is not home. You can continue on and you can go back to your home outside of this creation altogether. Okay, does that make sense? And, uh, alrighty. 
And basically, the rest of her, she's just saying how tired um, she is. And we understand that. All of us understand that. And so, Luna Moth, you're not alone. There's a lot of us that are tired. Um, this last big energy burst uh, was huge and it major. And I've reached out to quite a few of uh, you empaths out there. And you're all reporting the same thing with massive, massive differences. So, yeah, there will be quite a difference in the next, uh, I, I expected it in 2018 and it's dead right on schedule. So, a lot of this will be energetic uh, changes, so changes. So, as an empath, you'll see them uh, start to happen and a lot of you already have. So, uh, be sure and share that with your videos, guys, on what you're seeing. Uh, Jeannie, the birds, your husband... The tree, magnificent, and I will do, uh, they're happening to me so fast um, during the day that I just don't even, I'll, I'll try to pull some of them and do some videos uh, describing them uh, for everybody. Okay, all right, Luna Moth, so hopefully I answered some of your questions. If not, ask them again, and I will, I will do better, all right? Okay, guys, huge hugs. I love you so, so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.